you don't play any role in the appointment of any judge in this country correct you have no say so that means their appointment is not through election it is plain and simple appointment and this is even at the highest level possible so the question that we should perhaps ask ourselves is is a completely unaccountable judiciary antithetical to the concept of a democracy if any arm of the state which can wield such power over the people can it remain free from criticism by the people and can it remain free from being held to account by the people if that is can such an institution have a place in a democracy that's the basic question it is precisely for this reason that the judicial accountability bill and the njac was proposed so that elected members have some say even the president is elected by the people whom you have elected at the very least the elected members have a say but if your elected members don't even have a say in the appointment of the members of the judiciary what do you do then in theory strictly in theory an independent judiciary was conceived of only for one reason if the government chooses to overstep its boundaries goes beyond its mandate and clamps down on fundamental rights then there must be at least one institutional safeguard which is the judiciary which gives the push back necessary but during emergency we saw that theory completely failing so as far as i am concerned the problem lies in an institutional safeguard which is absent in holding them to account if an institution believes that the manner in which i exist is perfect and there is absolutely no room for or need for reform then that institution certainly does not have the right to pontificate reform to anybody else at the very least you can't say this is the best i can be and that i don't need any kind of intervention from outside because i wish to preserve my independence why can't a religious institution take the same position your position is derived from the constitution